This IC is a voltage regulator. It keeps the output voltage constant no matter how much the input voltage change. There are different types of this IC with different output voltages, but according to this datasheet, the maximum input voltage must be 35 volt or less. I was doing some research on internet and I found this IC which is LR8. The maximum input voltage of this IC is 450 volt, which is insane. I found it on AliExpress for $1.50 for one IC or $11 for 10 of them. So I got 10. I took the circuit from the datasheet and I add few more components. A bridge rectifier to convert AC to DC because I want to connect it to the mains voltage. LED indicator, capacitor for the input, capacitor for the output. A protection diode to prevent the output voltage get higher than the input voltage when you disconnect the circuit from the mains. And the most important thing, these two resistors to set the output voltage. I designed the PCB and order it from PCB way. I need 12 volt output voltage, so according to this formula, I have to use a 51K resistor here and a 330K here. And as you can see, the output voltage is very close to 12 volt. But there are 5% tolerance in the IC itself and another 5% tolerance in the resistors. The polarity of the input voltage doesn't matter because I already used a bridge rectifier. I also connected to the mains voltage and it's still working just fine. You should never touch the output because it is not isolated from the input. This IC has short circuit protection. You can get adjustable output voltage by using a potentiometer instead of one of these two resistors. So now I can get any output voltage from 1.2 volt all the way up to more than 300 volts. It could be an LED driver or a power supply for a tiny relay like this one. The maximum output current is something between 10 milliamp and 30 milliamp. I measured the short circuit current and it was less than 13 milliamp. I can increase the current by adding another IC in parallel with the first one. So now I have almost 24 milliamps. To be honest with you, I think it's not worth it. Because the IC alone cost you $1.50, but you can buy this power supply with the same size of this PCB for only $1.60. It is isolated and gives more current, but the voltage is not adjustable. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching.